What's up, YouTube? It's Moni Got It Made, and I'm back with yet another video. Alright, so as promised, I'm going to make it up to you guys, and I got to drop two. I got to... One ain't enough, I need two, okay? I got to give y'all another video, because I didn't give y'all one last week. So I got to double up, alright? Alright. So it is Fashion Friday, and what better way to talk about fashion than where you shop? So pretty much this will be about the 10 things that everybody in retail can relate to. It's pretty much for the customers out there too, because y'all be doing some grimy stuff. Y'all be doing some grimy stuff, and I'm about to put y'all on notice, all right? I'm about to let y'all know. Don't do this when you go shopping. This this is going to be shopping etiquette. When you go shop, don't do these things. <laughs> All right? So, pretty much, I have been working in retail since I was 16 years old. Yes, 16. My first retail job was Urban Outfitters. Yeah, you name it, I've probably worked there. I worked Forever 21, Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secret. I'm now at Love Culture. Yeah, I've pretty much, like, been, been around the block. Numero uno is, ma'am, do you work here? Me looks down at my long behind tag that says love culture. Me at a table, folding clothes like I'm doing it for free. Ma'am, yeah, I work here. What do, what do you want? So, yeah, that, that really, like, I don't know. Maybe it's just like some people, they really don't know if you work there or not. But, ma'am, I am not having a whole stack of clothes on my hand, putting all the clothes back. Or I am not folding clothes at a table. Or, or, worst part, I'm not sitting behind the cash register for you to ask me, do I work there? Yes, I work there. Now, what is your point? What's your point? All right. So, yeah, I hate when people ask me, do I work somewhere? And clearly, I work there. I could see if I didn't have my badge on and I'm just walking around not doing nothing, then, yeah, you would be like, do she work here? Do she work here? I don't know. Maybe I should ask her. Then I would understand. But if I'm actually doing work, don't ask me if I work here. Obviously. Obviously. All right. So, moving on to number two is leaving Clothes in the fitting room. Y'all, y'all want to know why this is so annoying? Because I know for a fact every retailer has a rack in the back. They have a rack next to the fitting room that they put clothes that they had to put back on the floor. Now, for the ignoramuses that leave all the clothes on the floor, I'm not saying hang them up one by one. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I lied. Hang them up. You didn't find them like that. You didn't get them off the floor like that. Hang them up and give them to me. All right? Like, it's, it's so annoying when customers just pretty much just leave clothes all on the floor and they just trash the place. And it's like, honey... What does your closet look like, all right? What does your home look like? I bet you it's a mess. Like, don't come back. Don't come back. If you can't give me those clothes, don't come back. Mm. And what? Okay? All right. So, moving on to number three is leaving your mess in the store. Honey, the tables in my store... Are not there for you to sit your Auntie Anne's cups on for you to leave your Starbucks mocha chocolata on my tables in the fitting room at the register. Take your trash, or better yet, ask me, Do I have a trash can and I can throw it away for you? You know, that'll be a little bit better than just leaving it around because somebody has to put it back. Like, just think when you go into the store what that somebody has to do. It's, it's just like extra work. No, we don't get paid to throw your stuff away. Like, I hate when customers or people think, oh, well, they get paid for it. No, we don't. And if we do, 
not enough, sweetheart. Like, it is what it is. All right, so moving on, it would be asking for merchandise that we don't have. If you see that we have an assortment of clothes, and that assortment includes black, pink, and red, do not come to me and say, would you guys have this in yellow? Do you see it? Like, literally, like, that's so annoying to me. Like, or, or, can, could you guys order it in yellow? No, could you go order a yellow dress if that's what you're looking for? Because, ma'am, that dress does not come in yellow. Oh, you know, I only see, like, red and white up there. Do, do you guys carry it in black? No, but you are about to be carried in black if you keep asking me for stuff that you don't see, girl. Get away from me. Get away from me. Move. <laughs> All right, so yeah, y'all, that's like super annoying to me. Don't ask me for things that you don't see. Because if, if it's there, it would be there. We cannot just magically make the colors up. We, we're not the designers of the store. We're not the buyers of the store. We just work in the store. All right? All right. All right, so moving on, and that would be telling me my own store policy. Honey, do you work here? Oh, because I thought my name tag to me. Oh. Like, it's so annoying. All right, so for instance, my job, our policy is you have 30 days to exchange or get store credit only. Customers will come in. Can I just get my money back? No. Well, why? Well, ma'am, when you look at your receipt at the bottom, you know, where I made the big heart at, it says you only have 30 days to exchange or get store credit only. Okay, well, I, I no. Like, that's not, No. That's not good enough for me. Like, no, that's not what it is. You're going to give me my money back. Oh, man, but according to this receipt, you know, I'm not giving you my money back. No, you're going to give me my money back. Ma'am, I'm not going to give you your money back. You want this third credit, though, sis? Something cute over there for you. Like, no, I'm. you're not going to tell me how my store runs, or you're not going to tell me what I'm trained to tell you. I ain't telling it to you to piss you off sometimes, but come on, like, that's the store policy, period, point blank. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so moving on is nasty attitudes. Y'all ain't got no black shirts in here. Ugh. Just because I work in retail does not mean that you automatically can give me attitude and I'm supposed to be happy-go-lucky. Because I'm going to say, did you look for a black shirt? I'm going to give you what you give me, period. Like, it is what it is. Do not come into the store with an attitude or come to the store with you're behind for me to kiss because, sis, I will not kiss it. I don't, I don't kiss but it. Mm -mm. That's a little gross. I don't do that. So yeah, don't don't come into stores with attitudes like for what? For what? I don't know you. You don't know me. What if I'm not having a good day, huh? 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 I'm over it. I'm over you people. Make me sick. All right. So moving on would be this is so annoying. Control your kids. All right. I don't need Timmy running over here, grabbing all up on the clothes, knocking stuff down, Susie over here, putting her fingers all in the makeup. Now I got to go damage that. I don't need your baby over here screaming at the top of their lungs because they want to get out the stroller. Ma'am, if your child continues to run in this store, you and your child is no longer, you know, welcome in the store because it's annoying. Like, my customers are trying to shop. And your, your child's giving everybody a headache. No. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. Get that little, get the little demon. Hmm. 
or make them stay home. You need a babysitter while you go shopping. Like it's that that is like some some parents tune their kids out and their kids will do anything in the store. Like it's horrible. They purposely knock down things. They purposely hide inside the little racks. It's like baby, my job is birth control. <laughs> like for real. Maybe that will come back to haunt me when I do have kids and my kids act up in the mall. But guess what? I'm I'm gonna be like my mom. You better not ask for nothing. And you better sit down. Shh. Shh. That's what my mom do. <laughs> for real. Like for real, for real. Alright, y'all. So another thing that pisses me off and that is top 10 that made the top 10 this is the most annoying thing to me because i just think it's so dirty do not i repeat do not try to exchange or return something that you know for a fact you wore that's nasty like it it's raised you like this it's nasty it says your clothes smell like a smoke out it smells like a hot box no did you wear deodorant when you wore this no like take it back honey you got makeup stains all over this like you wore it you don't even have the tag on it anymore well, it's within the 30 days. Well, 30 days, my behind. You are not, I repeat, you are not getting nothing for free. Because that's all you're pretty much doing is getting something for free. Because I am not putting that smoke, skunk, mm, smell back on my floor. Like, I got to damage it. I got to I gotta burn it. it. It can't come back on the floor. That's that's horrible. So that's, that's top 10, y'all, because... People really do that, and that's, like, trifling to me. Like, if you know you're going to wear it, keep it. Are you that broke? Maybe some people do. Well, if you don't got the money for it, don't shop. That's my top ten things on what annoys me in retail. All right, so peace. Check me out, and I'll be back soon, y'all. I promise. Bye.